Hey folks, David here, reporting live from somewhere in the halls of Riot of the Wild Rift team. This update will introduce three new champions to the Rift, and we're bringing the Thunder. Literally. We're adding a frigid new foe to the Rift and continue our work uh, updating each role so that they all feel satisfying to play. This patch will be focused on the Marksman, and there's a bunch more in store, so let's check it out together. Welcome to patch 4.2, play him. I'm gonna hand off to my co-reporter in the field today, Maddie, for more on the potential storm that is brewing against our champions. Maddie? Thanks, David. Hi, everyone. Maddie here from the champions team. As David mentioned, there's a storm brewing, and tensions are high between two of the champions we're bringing to the rift this patch. Things could get hairy at any moment here, but let's get straight into the updates. We know you've been itching for us to bring some more tanks to the Baron lane. So this patch, we're bringing over one of our most requested champions. Orn, the fire below the mountain, is a beefy tank who's ready to forge his own path. This demigod has a few tools at his disposal to help him ram his way into the fight. His first ability, Volcanic Rupture, creates a fissure on the rift, slowing enemies hit and spawning a magma pillar after a brief delay. Combo this with his third ability, Searing Charge, and headbutt foes into the terrain to knock them up. They'll never know what hit them. Move mountains and start team fights by summoning a massive elemental that will slow and brittle anyone caught in its path. Recast this ability to charge into the elemental, which redirects it to knock up opponents in a line. Since Orn likes to do things his way, his passive allows him to stay on the map and forge any items without going back to base. And once he reaches a certain level, forging items near an ally will grant them a charge that allows them to purchase an item anywhere on the map too. But don't worry, we're not putting the shopkeepers out of business. They'll still get their gold. We couldn't bring over the Ram God without his brother, right? Our second champion this patch is Volibear, the Relentless Storm. These two aren't polar opposites, but while Orn is a super tanky Baron laner, Volibear is a brawling Baron laner who's ready to claw his way to victory. To help him sink his paws into the fight, Volibear has powerful offensive abilities that let him get on top of his foes to deal damage with ease. Chase your opponents down and stun them with his first ability, Thundering Smash or initiate fights by storming out and leaping onto foes with Volibear's ultimate, Stormbringer. Once he hunts you down, though, watch out. His damage can be unbearable. His passive, the Relentless Storm, grants Volibear extra attack speed, which eventually causes his attacks to deal bonus magic damage to enemies nearby. In tandem with his other abilities, you should have no problem mauling down anyone in your path. And since Orn and Volibear have a bit of history, if these two are up against each other in one of your games, there's a chance a Nemesis duel will trigger, similar to the one Kha'Zix and Rengar currently have. Which demigod will come out on top? There's only one way to find out. And last, but certainly not least, we're bringing over one last champion this patch. Swain, the Noxian Grand General, is ready to rule the mid lane with an iron fist, or demonic hand. With this mage, you'll be able to plot, plan, and envision a path to victory for your team. The bread and butter to Swain's kit is his third ability, Never Move. Use this to launch your demonic power at your opponents and root them in place. Once they're in your grasp, you can pull them closer or leave them at bay. Whatever you choose, make sure to follow up with Swain's second ability, Vision of Empire. It will do more damage to enemies who are CC'd, making it a great tool to have in your arsenal to ensure your foes truly feel your wrath. Ascend to your final form and lead your team into the front lines of the fight with Swain's ultimate. Demonic Ascension lets Swain truly enter demon mode. Suck the life from any enemy champions, minions, or neutral monsters that dare step up to you. And if anyone gets too close, decimate and slow them with a Nova of Soulfire by casting Demon Flare. Now, I'm gonna pass it back to my co-reporter, David. Thanks, Maddie. Hi, hi again, folks. It's David here and it's 30 degrees outside. And there's, there's a 30% chance it's already snowing on the rift. That's right, folks. We are bringing a brand new dragon to Wild Rift in patch 4.2, the Ice Dragon. The Ice Dragon grants ability haste when slain. And if this frigid beast happens to be the first dragon killed during your game, frozen terrain will take over the rift. Ice will spawn along the sides of structures in the jungle and the river 
And you and your team can take advantage of these new paths and gain a boost in movement speed when you glide across them. In addition to the icy terrain, whenever Ice Dragon takes over the rift, a new frozen fruit will spawn. Attacking this plant is kind of like how you launch a snowball in ARAM. Once you aim the fruit, it will cast a fixed time freezing effect to any enemy within its range. This effect is similar to Zanya's Hourglass and will leave any enemy hit by it untargetable and invulnerable for the duration. Make sure to pop these wintry plants if you want to catch your foes in a cold snap. This is also our first time adding a unique dragon to the Elemental Rift system, so please let us know what you think. One of our goals this year is to continue the work looking at roles. We want to make sure that every role feels satisfying, rewarding, and of course, fun to play. During our Playhem patch, we'll be heading down to the Dragon Lane and giving Marksmen some new items and as well as updates to some of the old favorites. Immortal Shield Bow is a new item perfect for marksmen who are looking for a little extra safety in their builds. When you take damage that will reduce your health below a certain threshold, you'll gain a shield to absorb some of the incoming damage. This shield could be the advantage you need in those scrappy brawls in the jungle or the intense 2v2s in the dragon lane. Want to collect some extra gold on your kills? If so, Collector is the pick for you. If you deal damage to an enemy that leaves them below a certain threshold, you'll execute them and gain some additional gold. In addition to these new items, we're also going to be updating Phantom Dancer, Mana Mune, and Essence Reaver, so there'll be more desirable pickups for Caster Marksmen. As you've seen in recent patches, we've been looking for new ways for you to customize your Wild Rift experience, like with our updates to the collection system. In the Playhem patch, we're also going to be bringing two new customization options, in-game and out. In patch 3.5, we introduced the ability for you to see all of your favorite Star Guardian girlies together once again, or KDA united and slay in harmony with the gallery skin set feature. This patch, we're expanding on it, if you have a complete set of skins, you'll be able to unlock a special reward. Lastly, we'll be adding the ability to customize your buttons in-game. If our standard colors don't match your current aesthetic, no worries. We got you covered with some brand new options. To equip one of these new customizations, head to the Collections tab to preview and select your new UI. Keep an eye out for more details on how to obtain these new customizations soon. Ever wanted to look back and see how long it took you to hit Diamond this season compared to the last? Or how many games of your main have you played this season? Are they still your highest win rate champions, or has somebody else taken their spot? Well, starting this patch, you'll finally be able to, with the introduction of Season Stats. This new system will let you track basic stats throughout each of your ranked seasons. It will also track champion stats and highlight stats, like how many pentakills you got during a ranked season, or in my case, how few of them. For Wall Pass Season 13, we're introducing a brand new thematic. Now, I previously guessed this skin was gonna be Caitlyn. That's Caitlyn. My money's on Caitlyn there. Let's see if I was right. Okay, so I was way off, but that was a hard guess to make. Food Spirits Ari will be your reward for completing this Vault Pass, and we think she's so delightful. If you want to try a brand new flavor, you can grab her Ascended version from the Wall Pass Emporium. And for the main event, in this corner, we have Orn, the Ram Demigod coming in at approximately 8 Teemos tall. And in this other corner, we have the Ferocious Volibear, standing at approximately nine Teemo's top. Who will come on top? We're not sure. And with these two Fjordian Titans coming to the rift, we knew we had to make the main event of this patch a fan favorite. We're bringing back the leaderboard event. We heard how much you enjoy the Rise from the Deep event, so it's making its return with a few adjustments. Play games, complete missions, and try to climb to the top of the leaderboard in your region. We heard your feedback, and so this time around, you'll be able to collect the rewards from tiers below you. This way, you won't have to miss out on your favorite reward if you already reach the top. 
Now it's time for my personal favorite part of these videos, the classic Wild Rift skin montage. Whether you want to squat up to take down enemies or make waves on the rift, this patch, we have something for everyone. Well, that's all from us for this patch preview. It was a joy chatting with you all. Whether you're looking forward to brawling it out in the barren lane with some of our new champs, bringing down the temperature a few degrees on the rift, or climbing to the top of the leaderboard in the new event, we hope there's something for everyone with this patch. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the rift.